If you are a developer and you write code on a daily basis, this video would be helpful. In this video, I'm going to talk about some of the benefits of using code reviews. I'm sure you write code and you also review your uh, peers code. Um, this video is going to highlight some of the benefits of using code reviews. First of all, let's understand what code review actually is and what exactly it does. So essentially code review involves a developer reviewing your code that he or she hasn't authored or written and that developer has little to no knowledge about the code that he's reviewing because he will be completely impartial when he's doing his code review. So code review can take place in all stages of the software development. It doesn't necessarily have to be done when you're doing a POC, what well, doesn't hurt, but uh, if you're working on a code that's going to be, you know, it's going to be a throwaway project, you don't necessarily need a developer to spend his time from his day to review the code that you're going to throw away at the end of the day. But uh, it's better to review the code that is actually going to go, eventually go into the production environment. So let's talk about some of the benefits or key benefits of using code reviews. Benefit number one is finding bugs on the cheap. So what I mean by that is it's much better that if there are any flaws or bugs in your code, they are identified and detected much earlier at an early stage than when they are deployed into production. So if or God forbid even a customer is you know finding flaws or bugs that should have caught much sooner because the delay that is caused because if it is not detected sooner it can be quite expensive to fix and to be it can be quite expensive to be fixed and then be redeployed into the environment the other benefit is when you are reviewing your peers code you can see his style of writing or solving a particular problem or a given problem and you can a problem that you might have faced in your in your journey so when you look or see the developer's code you might get some insights and you might be able to provide some feedback or thoughts or some inputs while you're going while you while you're reviewing the code and when you're reviewing the code you can provide some good feedback it can be negative or it can be positive the end result is the software that's being deployed into production is of quality so what happens is when you're starting when you're beginning to work on a task or an assignment you understand the business requirements and then you start writing your code and then you start writing code and when you finish the task you create a pull request and then the coworker can review the code that you've written and uh, obviously your uh, coworker needs to know what this task is all about so that he will have some context and then he will be able to provide some feedback also when you're reviewing the code it will ensure that the code is readable uh, there's a lot written about writing clean code there's also a book written by uncle bob there's a link in the description down below he talks about writing a code that is expressive enough that you don't have to write comments all in your page so to speak so code reviews it essentially ensure that uh, there's a proper standard that's being followed in the team and how do we do the code review? Uh, as I talked about, you know, when an assignment is given to you, you go through the task, you, when you finish the task, you create a pull request, and then your code is reviewed by the uh, peer. So there are a few ways of doing the review. Uh, you can also do peer programming. When you're, you know, you can, there's, there's one way of doing uh, code review. The other method that I personally like is, uh, you know, the method of uh, creating pull requests and then going through the uh, code and providing feedback as you find necessary and you find fit. Of course, everyone is having their own style of uh, code reviews or their own style of writing code and reviewing code uh, for that matter. So I would say uh, start with what you are more comfortable with and what your team is following. So, so this was a, a quick little video about benefits of using code review if you found this video helpful do let me know in your comments down below i'll see you next time bye for now and just before you go if this video has helped you in any way shape or form give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button